Hello, welcome back to Brand Switch Live. In this episode, we're gonna be doing another 3D therapy. Um, so we're gonna take inspiration from Seahorse. Uh, so this creature is one of my favorite. Uh, I've never, I never really seen it in real life or maybe in in aquarium. But yeah, we can try making something like this inside Blender. So let's get started. So this is one of the results. I'm actually using grease pencil. It's very unusual method. Uh, to create 3d but I'm gonna show you uh, this method so we're gonna go to side view gonna delete everything shift a grease pencil blank I've shown you this method in the past probably so I'm gonna use draw tools increase the radius and the strength so the basic idea is to draw you know like a, like a path of some sort so with a seahorse seems like the, the design of seahorse is a little bit like this sometimes I just draw it like this which is a bit maybe a little bit wrong it's like a spiral but seahorse is a little bit you know like this shape and then this is like a 3d therapy I keep mentioning it uh, so I'm using my mouse and the idea is to make the shape you don't need to worry about you know like the final result you can try to draw the silhouette of seahorse so it's very kind of like a free form um, doodle okay so I, I the top part is like like a horse I know that fact as for the tail we're gonna try to add details later but for now just yeah, just making it whatever you like. Basically, this is the silhouette of seahorse, right? You can make it like a dragon, uh, maybe sea dragon. Okay. So once you have this silhouette, it's kind of flat. But the cool thing about this pencil, uh, let's save it first before before we continue. Seahorse. We can go to sculpt mode and start sculpting. The tool I use is gonna be thickness, increase the radius, and I'm using mouse. Uh, so let's take a look from the side, from the side view first. Okay, so we are adding some kind of thickness. You can be more like. You can be really accurate with this, but start to have like a, because this is like a 3D therapy, you know, you, you're free to do whatever. Just feel free with the tools. You're basically adding thickness. If you really want, you can say, let's take a look from this side and, you know, just adding thickness because the seahorse is pretty basic kind of creature it's basic but kind of detail as well so I'll take a look look at this it's a little bit like a, it looks like it's made of bone with a little bit of, there's a little bit of volume but you can really get creative with seahorse there might be like the hard part and then the soft area at the front but uh, in my case I just gonna make it whatever I like so I'm if I'm holding control we can make that area smaller okay if you want to grab and push and twist you can you can try doing that as well just reshape the silhouette as long the silhouette looks nice or as long you're happy it's a it's fine. No need to be perfect. File, save. At this point, uh, you can <clears throat> you can be creative and just continue drawing uh, because it's still kind of two D. So let's draw the stroke from the stroke. Okay, instead of origin draw something from the stroke area I mean 
just continue drawing the details maybe adding kind of fin go to the side view let's see yeah well at this point there's nothing much I mean you can draw that and mirror you can go back to sculpt thickness adding thickness once again I as long they are touching I, I just we just try to make sure they're kind of touching so once you're happy with this just gonna apply this mirror okay so we have our crisp pencil stroke happening right click convert this to bezier curve now this is the grease pencil oh this is the grease pencil now we have the curve you know what i'm gonna do adding depth whoops okay that's too much 0 0.02 0 0.003 yeah i'm just adding a little bit of depth some area might need a tweaking This uh, might do some tweaking on the radius. So we want we want this to be touching, or just select this area, Command L, Control L. Yeah, anyway maybe I can increase this a little bit more yeah okay you can repeat the process or even adding more grist pencil but I think I'm okay with this this is a remember this is a curve object right if you bring this to geometry nodes geometry nodes will actually look at it okay this is um, a mesh so you can do like mesh to volume <clears throat> and volume to mesh okay which is pretty pretty cool pretty handy gonna increase the fox cell and just gonna play around with the number you can go more detail less detail yeah okay it's not bad okay look this is a curve object it's still kind of live it's being translated from gris pencil um, unfortunately we cannot really have gris, uh, geometry nodes to convert gris pencil yet so I just gonna duplicate this guy and then right click convert to mesh okay so this guy is now becoming a real mesh object you can right click shade smooth okay now we can start if you want um, you can continue with sculpting it should work pretty well if you want to add things like eye eyeballs or things like that oh before I start uh, this thing needs to we want to turn on symmetry and you know so we can have symmetry so at this point re really we start doing sculpting and yeah as usual I'm not the best sculptor but I know if I treat this like a 3d therapy I don't to, I don't need to worry too much you know but it, it, things like this we are still like kind of in a concept mode so we can enable dynamic topology when you're using dynamic topology it's gonna add resolutions as you're working on the area um, yeah maybe you can even use like snake hook remember from the 
from the previous um, 3D therapy. You know? Yeah. Seahorse. So suddenly it's becoming something else altogether. This this area, okay, maybe you see. Because it's like a free form. Don't need to worry. I, I like this shape, it's a little bit like dragon. Real dragon, not the fake one. You see, these days so many people claim to be dragon. This is the real dragon you're making, like a mythical creatures. Okay, uh, we can experiment with clay or oops. It's it's using the dynamic topology. So anyway, at this point. You're free to do whatever. I like to do my claws thing, but you can actually use displays. Experiment a little bit. Displays can go both way. If you go the opposite way, like negative value, it's gonna go inside and it's tighten the areas. You might like this or you might not, but it's okay. Save this anyway. If you're sculpting, you can turn on cavity, shade smooth, right? Okay, it's it's not bad. Maybe it's lacking of details. You can continue adding details. It's totally up to you. You probably want to have all. You want to try all kind of texturing tools. Uh, the paint. Okay, I haven't used Blender Vertex Paint much. Not supported in dynamic topology. Turn off dynamic topology. So we can paint the paint will goes uh, it's using the mirror so it's pretty cool I don't know why I'm using this red color whenever doing painting sculpting I like to start with I probably like to use all kind of random color there must be a better method to do this but I'm okay like at the beginning you're setting the base so maybe this is okay you know I'm using vertex painting anyway it's, this is not like a final uh, maybe using darker color or on the some areas and brighter around the stomach yeah you know it's okay so pretty random at this point <clears throat> you can use the cloth thing okay sculpt mode cloth cloth filter inflate so you can go crazy with inflate yeah I just yeah maybe not too crazy click and drag to the right and then click and drag to the left so we have that kind of weird details right because it's in inflating and deflating itself now I just like doing that you can perhaps add more resolutions at the moment if you go wireframe yeah, it's not bad, you know, you can do like retopo, do your sculpting until you're happy first, but after you do that, you probably want to do retopo, re try remeshing. It's probably gonna, gonna complain because what, your mess needs to be manifold and have face normal, blah, 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 okay. Go to edit mode. Merge vertices by distance. Okay, it's it's not happy with the mesh at the moment. So usually the technique is to use remesh. This gonna increase the resolution like crazy. 
something like that and after you do that go to edit mode merge vertices by distance and then do the quadri quadri flow remesh once again and yeah I'm still complaining okay just do the another remesh then with adaptive fix the poles remesh yeah I think this is okay. You can try quadriflow. Still, I'm happy. Delete some vertices that you don't need. Merge vertices. Quadriflow. This time it's working. Yeah. <laughs> no, it doesn't like it. Anyhow, don't worry about that. Normally it works. But this is the whole process, basically. Grease pencil all the way into this final result. Okay, anyway, thanks again for tuning in. Hopefully this is useful and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.